Good afternoon from Walt Disney's Magic Kingdom. We are here today to do, and I have to read this off the screen because I keep forgetting the name of it, A Pirate's Adventure, Treasures of the Seven Seas. And while we're on a reading kick, I'm just gonna read you Disney's description of this because they're much better describing things than I am. Join Captain Jack on an interactive adventure, take on missions, fend off fearsome foes, and bring home a treasure of your own. Pretty exciting. We're gonna do an interactive adventure around the Magic Kingdom that involves pirates, and I believe it's totally free. Let's go check it out. So now that we're inside of Magic Kingdom, we have to head back into Adventureland to get all set up to do this pirate's adventure. Playing chopsticks. Never get tired of seeing this castle at the end of the street. Ooh, oh, I'm ready for an adventure. Where else or where better to go would be Adventureland. We're actually headed to the furthest reaches of Adventureland, past Jungle Cruise, past Pirates, past Tortuga Tavern, and actually here's the strange part. There's a sign here that says, Passage to Frontierland, but we're not going into Frontierland. We're going right here to this little building that says a pirate's adventure, treasures of the seven seas. I'm excited. So just before Golden Oak Outpost, and you can see Splash Mountain in the background. Pecos Bills is over here. Tortuga Tavern's back there. And we're headed right here. Here's the hours for the day. Today it's 12 to 6. So it looks like we've got a little bit of time. It's only 2 o'clock right now. Are you hunting for treasure? Or have I you am. Found treasure? I'm hunting. Hunting for treasure? Yeah. Perfect. Come on over then. If you'd like to scan your magic band for me on this starfish. Awesome. Ooh. Just the one of Just you? me, yeah. Perfect. So we're gonna start with Guardian's Curse. Okay. So I hit okay. Now it looks like we're gonna begin with the parrot. Looks like the parrot could be somewhere near the Pirates of the Caribbean gift shop. Okay. But that's all I'm gonna say. Once you finish this, you're just gonna come on back here and then we'll get you set up with another map. If you finish two of them, you get a fast pass for Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Have fun. Thank you. If you have any questions, I'll be around. Okay, thank you. That was quick and painless. Now we just have to find out where the parrot is by looking at our map. Ooh, this is exciting. There's so much stuff. So here's the map that we're looking at. And like she said, we're starting at the parrot. So we're looking near Pirates of the Caribbean gift shop. You can see the arrow pointing to it. Okay. I think I got a good understanding. You see this like... This planter right here, we gotta look for that planter and we're gonna be right next to it. So on the handle of a blunderbuss is the carving of a parrot. Press your talisman into the carving and you get the attention of the scurvy bird nearby. So we found the bird and here is the blunderbuss with a carving of a parrot on it. So let's press our magic band against it and see what happens. Ooh, it fired. Don't shoot, don't shoot. I'm just the messenger. I'll be delivering your message to the captain presently. Look on the crate by the blunderbuss. Find the bullseye. Okay. Now I have to find the find the bullseye. Okay. There was a bullseye that showed up right there. Now I have to find the bullseye on the map. There's the bullseye up top right there. It looks like we're going over by the magic carpet of Aladdin or over by the uh, Swiss Family Robinson treehouse. So let's head over there. We're over by magic carpets of Aladdin. We're looking for a bullseye on a barrel, kind of in this area over here. There's my barrel with the bullseye on it. It says, do not touch the treasure chest. That's for the commander. Instead, find the barrel of gunpowder beside the deck cannon. Okay, there's the deck cannon. Here's the barrel of gunpowder. Place your talisman on the bullseye. If you miss, try again. Okay, so I'm assuming we have to shoot that. Tr There's the treasure chest down there. So let's give it a try. I'm gonna press my magic band against it. Oh, there it goes. I lit it. Okay. Oh, did I miss? Oh no. What's happening? Try again. Oh no, I missed. All right, let's do it again. Okay, there it is. I lit it. You can see it sparkling. Oh, I hit it. Bullseye! Ooh. Now, look for a magical mark at the base of the deck gun. We'll use Ooh, there a trusty compass to find the magical mark of the compass rose on your map. Okay, we gotta look at the map again. Here's the compass, 
Where is that at? Okay, that looks like it's across from Pirates of the Caribbean at Tortuga Tavern. Let's see what we can find. There's definitely a lot of back and forth in Adventureland. All right, we're over at Tortuga Tavern and we're looking for what looks like a box. Let's, okay, there it is. There's the compass on the box right there. That's exactly what we're looking for. What does it say? It says, my compass shall point you towards the object you most desire. Press your talisman against the drawing of the compass rose on the tattered map. All right, right there. That's where we got to press our, our magic band against. Ooh. Well done, my lovelies. Let's see where the compass point. A captain's hat, is it? Well then, you must be close to the treasure. Find the magical mark of the captain's hat. I think this was supposed to spin and, off you go. and point at that. It didn't do anything though. So, uh, yeah, this one. Just imagine it spinning around and pointing at this. Because you gotta listen to what he said. He said captain's hat. Oh, we're headed back over by Jungle Cruise, sort of near the exit of the ride. It looks like we're headed for that set of boxes over there. All right, do you guys see this this picture here of the boxes? That's exactly what we were looking for right there. Now, let's see what it says. It says, the commander shall leave us a message once he's retrieved our treasure for us. Okay, there is a message here on the barrel. Okay, Captain Sparrow, I wish to meet with you about our earlier agreement. I believe the terms of the deal are not in my best interest. Contact me immediately. Commander John, formerly of the Royal Navy. Okay, so now we touch our magic band to this. There it goes. Treasure of the Indian Ocean. Whoa! I it in my hands. Look at that. That you and Jack Sparrow tricked me. While you receive its power, I receive its curse. Mark my words. As soon as I discover how to break this curse, I'll have my revenge. Whoa. Well, that was exciting. Where is it? What's lit up? Well done, crew. You found the treasure of the Indian Ocean. We did it. And managed to avoid its curse as well. All right. It seems we'll find all the treasures at this rate, which reminds me, falsify some more treasure. Yes. Well, if you find your way back to the place where you signed up, Oh, so I think we completed this map. We did it! We found the treasure! Which is kind of interesting because there's still one more location on the map that we didn't go to, but they said we did it. We found the treasure. So we are headed back to the place where we started. We can get another map and we'll get a fast pass for Pirates of the Caribbean. That was kind of cool. That only took me like maybe 20 minutes to do all of those. So I'm back to pick up another map. Let's do this. Because I finished this map, I got a treasure card. This is pretty neat. So let's sign up for another one. Scan our magic bin. Come on, magic. There it goes. Okay, how many in my party? Just me. Okay, where's it gonna tell me to go? Heads you lose. That's the map we're doing, okay. And we're going to the shield, it looks like. Which is over in front of Swint's Family Robinson's Treehouse. I did overhear them say that if you get all five maps complete, you get all five cards, the computer does a little show for you, and then you get a completion card. So there are six total cards that you could collect. Don't worry, Captain so, Jack, we're finding your treasure. Where it's the we're doing it. Live few times. Back over by the Jungle Cruise, passing by Magic Carpets of Aladdin, headed over to Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse. We're looking for some shields or some masks. Search for the sign of the jungle mask. Yeel, find it carved into a skull. Be touching your talisman to the mark. There's the skull right there. There's the mask. There we go. Come on, there it goes. All right. Oh, Ooh. not so long ago I was a pirate just like you be. Yeah. The treasure of the Pacific. I saw it with me own two eyes. I can show you where to find it. Ooh. There's a lot. Oh, the anchor. Hey, who's hiding behind that mask? Thank you Ooh. kindly. There's, there's eyeballs back there. You show there. me precisely where I need these seven cards. Barbosa, hurt him. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Quick, you've got to find the treasure before he does. Okay. Look ye to that post. Find the magical mark of the lock on your map. And be on the lookout for Barbosa. I will. Thank you, Omniscient Pole. We have to go inside the gift shop to find the chest made of bones. Oh, is it that one? No. 
I don't know, but we're gonna go inside the Pirates of the Caribbean gift shop. There it is, that's what we're looking for right there. Back at Pirates of the Caribbean, headed over to the gift shop. This one's proving to be a little bit more difficult to find. I've yet to find, I'm, I think I might ask a cast member. There was somebody taking a photo in front of it, so I got confused and lost, but I'm looking for that chest right there. And actually, Pirates League is right in there. So what does it say? It says, go inside the shop, we did that. Touch the talisman to the lock on the chest. Look through the door to the room beyond. All right, so there's a bunch of pirates in there doing their thing. I'm going to touch my talisman. Come on, okay, did it? You've got to exact our revenge. Look up there, through the door. Watch the map. The mark of the blow dart. Find that on here, map, and it will lead you to the treasure. Ooh, the blow dart. Find the oracle holding the skull. All right, good news, we don't have to go very far though because it's right next to Pirates of the Caribbean down the little side path. So let's head in that direction. Definitely a lot of walking back and forth. We're back at Pirates of the Caribbean. There's Captain Jack. We're doing it still, Jack. Don't worry, we're finding your treasure. Continue to entertain millions. And we're heading down this little path over here looking for this gate. Find the oracle holding the skull. Press your talisman against the blow dart on its forehead. Okay, there's the skull, and there's the blow dart on its forehead. So, here we go. All right. I do. Yes. All right, let me know. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh no, oh no, blow darts. Oh, oh. Goodness gracious. My magic has protected you. Thank you. Look closely at my necklace. The spirits of the island are prepared to give you the treasure. Search your map for the magic of the palm tree. It will lead you to the island. So there it is. We're looking for that right there. We are seeking the idol. So we are headed over here by the Tiki Room. And it looks like we are looking for these little statues right here with a skull on them. Actually, isn't that far. Look, it's right there. After inspecting it a little bit closer, we uh, need to head back over by the Jungle Cruise. I feel like I've said that 600 times. But here is here it is. This is what we're looking for. These faces up here. There's the skull that we're looking for. Tap your talisman against the mark of the palm tree. You'll find it on this skull. There it is. I think this is our last one. And then we'll have a fast pass for Pirates of the Caribbean. Give me your treasure. Ooh. Oh no. We have found one worthy to bear the ocean's mighty power. The power of the treasures that flows through Go, go, and use it well. We did it. You found the treasure of the Pacific. Well done. Now. Seeing as I could always use more proper pirates to help me find more treasures, I invite you to set course back to the enlistment center. And some able-bodied enlistment throw will be hanging with the man. Well, thank you. We did it. All right, now we've done it. We've completed two maps. Let's head back to our enlistment place, and hopefully we will get another card and a fast pass for Pirates of the Caribbean. Here we go, back at the enlistment post. Let's get our card. I completed Heads You Lose. As a matter of fact, I won. I got it. Yeah. That's your second one, right? That's my second one. All right. I did it. We don't advertise it because we don't always have them. Oh, thank you so much. So they said they don't advertise them because they don't always have them. So don't count on it, but I'm doing it. Going on pirates. So here we go. We are taking a trip on Pirates of the Caribbean. Here we go.
set this magnificent treasure. You're right after that there ride and that there treasure hunt, we were transformed into pirates. Right? That's pretty good. I think I have a hook and a hat. Milady. It was a very fun day. I do highly recommend that you guys come out and give this a try. I enjoyed myself thoroughly, especially if you are looking for something more to do with the park. So like, I know a lot of people come to the parks as this is their first time ever. And I don't think you should do this on your first time ever to Disney. This is probably for the people that come very often or that are here for a very long time and are starting to get kind of like, all right, we've ridden pirates a bunch. What else can we do? Or if you or your child is a fan of the pirates franchise or a fan of pirates in general, Highly recommend this as well. There you have it. That was our trip to Magic Kingdom for the Pirates Adventure, the Treasures of the Seven Seas. It was very fun. We've only done two maps. There are five total maps, so we can come back and do it again, and it'll be a new experience. We just gotta remember which maps we've already done. I think my Magic fan might remember that for me, but I'm not really sure. If we come back and do it again, we'll let you know if the Magic fan remembered where we were or not. So. I highly recommend coming out and giving this a try. It was a good time. A lot of really neat effects going on. So with that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.